What's up guys, Rydek from Rogue Sheep Gaming here, bringing you achievement guides in the level 343 Guilty Spark for Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. This one's actually going to be one of those where it requires you with a, requires you to do something or exit the level with a specific time limit. This one, actually, the Breaking Quarantine, requires you to escape from the facility in under 21 minutes or less. So now, I'm going to go ahead and include the full run here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys probably the easiest way to get both Breaking Quarantine and this one is for Jenkins in the same run. And you can more than likely get the uh, This is Jenkins after you do the after you do Breaking Quarantine because the minute you escape you can still just reset the checkpoint and you'll be downstairs with the flood combat form still sort of spawning all over the place. But in this first area, the Flood are just going to kind of be breaking through on all sides until actually the door finally breaks down. <clears throat> now I did a little bit of research, but I couldn't actually find out when the timer starts. So I believe that the timer must start after the door breaks open. Um, I don't know if they would count this as part of the time. I mean, because I, I didn't really actually do any playtesting to see if you could just sort of kite these enemies and keep them alive. Alright, now here, I sort of mess up and just kind of jump into my own grenade, but the easiest way to avoid taking a lot of splash damage from the flood combat forms is just sort of jump over them. And now here, I'm just going to start just whacking combat elite forms and just trying to make sure that I eliminate them. Now, as you come out of here, you're going to notice that there's a lot on the floor, so just go ahead and use the infinite grenades, and that's the other thing that I should have mentioned, uh, bandana is perfect for this level, uh, especially with just infinite grenades, you don't have to get close to the uh, flood, because they're either taking care of the covenant, or they're kind of just off doing their own little thing, <clears throat> clearing my throat, excuse me, and as you... Continue down, you're going to stay on the bottom path for a little while, and this is just this is just for um, getting the most combat form floods, like kills, as you proceed through the level. You're still moving rather quickly. Um, if you're having problems getting it in under 21 minutes, um, there is a link that I will drop in the description that uh, has a speed run on the level that kind of gives you a sort of a faster method. Um, this method is just kind of general. I didn't really run through the level quickly. I mean, I sort of just sort of walked through. I mean, I even took the wrong way around the door here because I figured that there would be more flood combat forms around that corner, but needless to say, there weren't. Now, when you enter this area right here, you're gonna go ahead and exit this door and now as you come into this area this is gonna be the first elevator that takes you up after you exit this or actually excuse me it takes you down I completely messed up I must I'm thinking of the last one anyway is what you're gonna do is you're going to be entering a room with a lot of combat forms but to your luck, there is going to be an OS down here. It's going to be right over here on the right. You're going to just jump up, and we're going to grab this overshield. And the other thing that's going to be in here that's very nice for helping you out by killing combat forms is there's going to be an active camo right here before you uh, hit this sort of disabled light bridge. Lots of combat forms here on the ground that you can just chuck grenades at. Not a problem with uh, Bantana. It's always nice having having infinite grenades. And now, I, definitely, I, I see a guy, he's got a shotgun, and I'm just going to try to I lose a lot of my OS here. But having a shotgun definitely makes life easier with the Flood. Um, it just makes life a lot easier, period. I mean, shotgun, infinite ammo with infinite grenades. This sounds like a, that's just a great combo in this game. Now, as you enter these small areas, there's going to be several little jump ups that you're going to have. 
and make sure that you don't fall through the glass if it's broken. That's that's kind of awful if you do that. And I believe that we're coming up on the still bro. Oh yeah, that's so. Is what happened is I actually had a frame drop issue, and I just uh, basically had to restart the capture. And uh, this is the same run, still actually with probably about a minute added onto it while I restarted my game capture. And um, we're still in in the same path. We're still going the same the same direction. Now here I'm just checking to make sure that some of these, I think it's the door on the other side that actually opens and there is some combat forms or there is some combat, there's actually combat forms in there that you can get kills off of if you're shorty or 50. Now I'm sort of doubling back here because I'm trying to see or I'm trying to get more flood combat forms to spawn. I'm trying to get as, like I was saying, I'm just trying to get as many as possible before I actually make the direction up. We'll go ahead and we'll hit the jump here, and this is actually going to be leaving the facility. So we're going to fail at that jump, and we're going to get on here now. The area, now the four-cornered room with the broken section, is going to be your marker towards the end of the mission. It's basically going to signal that you're getting close to the elevator. So now you're going to come to this bridge that you're going to, light bridge that you're going to be able to activate. And run across, and there's going to be a bunch of flood in here, and you can just shotgun your way through. Now here I'm sort of hurrying because I, I, don't, I don't know how much time I have left. And we've actually made it. This is the end. This is where you uh, get the achievement pop. And that is breaking quarantine, escaping the facility in under 21 minutes. Let's go ahead and show you the pop here. And we're going to be moving on. Now, this is actually the achievement pop for this one is for Jenkins. This is actually right after I did the achievement pop. I just sort of restarted and just ran back into that room. And there was combat forms all over the place. So I just went ahead and got my 50. Bandana makes this really easy. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Rydek from Rogue Sheep Gaming.